Every waking hour for three months, you could probably calculate to several, several hundred hours of work uh, to make five scenes and 11 minutes of animation. That will be the... to uh, look at medicine, which is my first choice for a degree. And um, I realised that there wasn't much motivation after a while of studying that. So I looked towards my real passion, which was video games, and found the uh, BSc for Computer and Video Games at Salford University. Completed that with a 2-1, went into my Masters after talking to Matthias, the course leader, and um, ended up uh, being convinced that doing something more creative and innovative with the work that I already knew would be very interesting and a, a fun path to take, really. The Master's course was very enjoyable for me, actually, um, purely because it allowed me to express all my freedom. It um, allowed me to really get my hands on anything I wanted and do anything I wanted to it. So um, because of that kind of independence to my work, um, I felt very comfortable in my working environment and it allowed me to really express myself the way I wanted to. This course is um, quite helpful actually, uh, mostly because of the group work that it enables you to do. Um, I mean when you sit down and lecture in any course and you get taught certain things, you'll, you'll, it'll go in or it won't and you'll learn the technology, but to really get your hands out in the industry you want more experience and working experience really. And the group work um, really gives a good idea of what it would be like in the industry, whether it's games, movies or anything. You could basically say that games technology could be used to create movies, which is actually what I've done. And um, you can actually get quite good emergent behaviour from that and uh, actually produce dynamic movies, which uh, players or viewers can interact with. I came across this completely by accident um, during development because I wasn't aiming to create a dynamic movie, so to speak. Um, I was trying to find methods of uh, speeding up the performance because it's in a game engine of the movie itself. And by doing so, I ended up creating physics objects. And these physics objects are random because the uh, engine itself calculates it on the fly. And what I found out was small occurrences would take place every time I ran the movie, just to test to see if it was working okay. And I'd find some ships occasionally would get shot, and other takes they wouldn't, but I wouldn't have changed anything. So I realised at that point the movie was actually dynamic, even at a very small level. But things were changing, and that's something you would never get with conventional movies. If you watch a movie, it will be the same time and time and time again. But um, if you really look at the potential for these dynamic movies, you could find that uh, something different could happen almost every time you watch it. And if the developer then tailors that uh, concept, you can get very interesting emergent developments from that itself. <laughs> I decided to use UDK, which is the Unreal Development Kit. Um, it's the Unreal Tournament 3 engine created by Epic Games, and uh, they recently released it, actually um, a couple of months ago, free of charge to anybody who wants to get their hands on it and learn the engine. And that was their best updated version, so I grabbed that, and it had all the tools and suites I needed to um, create everything I wanted to create for this movie. Using game engines that we currently have and using them in more serious environments. And uh, basically, what I've done is kind of bring that serious gaming concept back into the entertainment mediums to uh, create a movie. Uh, the script was actually um, pulled together from an old piece of writing I did a while ago. And so I picked that up again and I tailored it a little bit, and I like the idea. So um, I wrote something up, threw it on Google Wave, had my friends look at it and uh, they basically said that's, that's a great idea, that's really good, threw in a couple of more ideas and I took that together and started scheduling my work and basing my movie upon that.
Media City is going to be very important for this sector of the industry because um, it's going to allow world-class players such as the BBC to basically converge all in one location with a sort of village mentality. And uh, what I think this will create is a really strong community for this industry and um, allow fresh minds and talent from universities to be you know, brought into this area. After I graduate in July, I'm uh, looking at uh, games design jobs, uh, producer roles if possible, at um, some games companies uh, overseas actually. If uh, that would be, I find that quite interesting to try and you know look at different cultures, whether it's Japan or America, and try and uh, see if I can apply myself to those areas and bring some fresh ideas. Mm -hmm.